Like, you get in these spots against blue light, especially game one when there's no real threat, like, where you don't really have to do, like, everything. You can just chill for a bit, I think. I mean, I guess it helps when they're stuck on lands. All <laughs> force. Oh. Dude, I did that the other day already. Oh my god, how do I keep doing that? That's so insane. I did it yesterday or the day before. I never do it with a Jace. For some reason, this is different. I mean, I'm sure I've done it maybe once with a Jace. At least you don't have the little red glow on Narset like you do on a like you do on Arena to like for the extra rubbins. Alright, I should just keep a zombie in case they have a sweeper. I can just rebuild instantly. Oh, I meant to try Dried Arborious League, I forgot. Pretty sure that's not what they had in mind when they, uh... When they designed Wrath of Gods. Oh, they're open and just instantly rebuilding, uh... 20 powers of damage. Well, I take a look at your Hollowvine deck, it has some nice things going on, I mean, I can take a look, I don't know what, what I'm going to be able to, to say, really. I don't mind taking a look. So when is Dried Arbor going to be good? It lets you go, like... Turn one supplier, turn two looting, and if you don't have a one drop, you just fetch for dryad. Still cast hell yeah, it seems like it should be good. It has to take, it's like a spell though. Only 19 power. Feels bad, man. Never freaking lucky. Thank god they didn't have Narset in play this time. Yeah, I should have played feeder. Canister, are you the bad guy? know if these are misclicks or a legit one viewer host probably not probably some kind of bug or misclick is this version better than the black one blood braid was vengevine is nice your deck's still pretty good against Graveyard. Hey, what do you have? You have Phoenix and Vengevine for Graveyard stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this deck looks looks good. Kind of scoops to a Tarmogoyf, I guess. Like a Fatal Push into a Tarmogoyf maybe is rough. Probably has like different strengths, different weaknesses. 17 lands. I didn't realize you were playing 17 lands. That seems like super sketch. I know you have Hierarch, but... It seems like not enough lands. Hierarch is a pretty busted card, though. Alright, about against five. 
How does Blue Eyes Fell plus Sogak? I think it's bad against Sogak. Surgical and rest in peace. But they have no white mana. I could gamble. Surgical is really annoying. I'm gonna just take Surgical, I guess. It's not really a gamble after trophy. Am I supposed to fetch first? Does that make a big difference with anything? I'll kill it. I'll kill myself. And that's more likely to draw a Hogak, I guess. Kind of all in on that bench line. I did hit a Hogak. They have Purge in hand. So if I cast Hogak now, they have to choose between Purge and Rest in Peace. I'm not gonna trophy the Rest in peace. Not right away, anyways. I don't believe you, Map Hacker. He's such a troll. I think you should go after Green Source in this matchup because of Vengevine. Like, decks usually have a bunch of Blood Crypts and no double red spell. Like, really poor to go after the red source there. Well, the fact that I'm beating blue eye over and over with Hogak doesn't make me want to play blue eye anymore. Not that I really wanted to play blue eye before, but. Wow, we want to match even record. The one, the one archetype we can beat. Lily, what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, your Fandom Legends Week 15 champion. Also your Mythic Championship 1 champion. Which one do you like better, Lily? Which title do you go by these days? Fandom Legend Champion or Mythic Championship Champion? Fandom Legends Champion is better ring to it. What did you play last MC? I played Blue Light Control. And I got a win, a draw, and three losses. I'm hungry. I'll be right back. Damn. I'll be right back. Sorry for those who are enjoying the empty chair stream. I think the only island go playable right now is Mono Blue. to attack first. I spewed. I spewed one point of damage. I might have fetched the wrong land on turn one, I guess. Especially against Island. Nothing I can do, right? I 
Might actually lose this game because I fetched for the wrong man on turn one. down to free could have hard cast vine and hug to bring back the other vine oh yeah oh yeah vine comes back anyway if I cast hug I was like I only played I'm dumb you know I don't know what I was thinking about I should have like discarded one of the two bench vines played one played hogak yeah yeah, that was pretty poor. Alright, I'm just gonna tag them. I'm usually pretty good with these decks, like the aggro decks. I'm, I don't know. I don't know why I'm making these obvious mistakes. I need one earlier against Dredge, too. I need to start chaining cryptic commands. They could win this game if their hand is good. Snapcaster verdict is not good. Can they even win with Thug? Probably do something cool with Thug, right? Just put back a one drop on top. I don't have a one drop. <clears throat> I mean, technically they could have Field of Rune in hand. If I put Vengevine back on top, I get Super Hosed. Just Blood Gas, right? You have to. It's not a May. Oh, I have a Looting in my yard. I have a Looting in my yard, so I can loot. I understand Blood Gas has haste. I'm assuming they might have a... Uh, Something for Bloodgast. Definitely don't want to bring back Bloodgast. I think. Vengevine is super risky. If they're sandbagging Field of Rune, I could cost myself the game. But I think I'm being paranoid the way they played. I guess I still have looting. To get rid of the Vengevine if they have Field of Rune. Well, I could just dredge. <coughs> Draw that, dredge. Does that do anything for me? Let's see what chat says, if there's something smart. If you feel that can dredge thug, why you put back Vengevine when you have one in hand. I don't know, I think I, I, think I messed up. I think I should have gotten back Bloodgast, or... Yeah, blood gassed. I don't know if my swamp is going right already this game. I should have had blood gas just because it's a cheap creature. And then I still have the bench finding in my graveyard. Yeah, I don't know. If I bring my blood gas, I can like looting and then see what happens. Is Relic going to do something against a graveyard deck? First time in history. Looks decent, this game. I'm just going to take Chase. Game's going to be pretty slow.
Do I have to have do I have to trophy a relic? <clears throat> so if I wayfinder, they're gonna remove a card. I'm gonna have five cards in my yard. I'm gonna untap with three cards in my yard. Four free. Okay, play blood gas and start beating down. That doesn't seem great. I guess I can trophy enough turn into Wayfinder plus Crib Breaker. I mean, giving them the extra land is kind of terrifying. Mm, nothing really good can happen with Wayfinder. I don't know, maybe I can force them to sack it somehow. I'm gonna play the Wayfinder first. I mean, I can kind of force them to stack Relic maybe just by playing dudes next turn. The opt at top. Relic was somehow better than Rest in Peace this game, I think. Because it, it dodged the Dotsies. <laughs> so I think I maybe discard Hogak. Crib Breaker? Let's cast Hogak. Wait, thought I had... Oh, I didn't count the looting. Oh, whatever, they couldn't get rid of the looting was... Uh... You play those four Shaman over Wayfinder? There's no way cards like Worlds Apart. Probably a Snapcaster Path. The top twice was up. Kind of tough. My hand was not great, but kind of hard to mulligan after sideboard when they actually have good ways to interact with what you're doing. I could have played Supplier first in case I mill Vengeline, but seems like... I mean, that Relic anyways, I guess. So even that didn't really matter. The Relic was really good this game. Why are they sacking a response to supplier? That's weird. I'm assuming I'm dead. Jace path. Literally anything. Cryptic. If they pop the relic in response to Ventrine trigger, then the other is still on the stack. Yeah, maybe I should have pushed my luck and played um any first. I was playing around the counter spell, I guess. They might not even have counter spell. Just don't even bother with the trophy on the play. Because Relic and Rest in Peace are too slow if you have a good draw. Maybe Thug is better to have the nuts. Claim, Claim and Thug both help you have some pretty nutty draw. Oh, I have that Return to Nature. That shouldn't be in the deck either, I think. Should just be a good Gary Thug. Alright, it's a pretty good hand. Oh, I have to put one to the bottom, that's right. Um... Two 
too much. How do I sequence that? They probably have path. If I play feeder, I'm just gonna path the feeder. Let's make a difference. I get to save my blood gas. But I don't really, hmm. yeah. I mean, they obviously don't have surgical, right? That'd be so insane if they had surgical. Honestly, if they have surgical. Oh well. GG. If they, if they have like surgical in this spot, they're just like galaxy brain you know <clears throat> do i just take mentor I have looting in the yard no nah, looting is too good in this spot mentor might lose i might lose to mentor but i'm gonna take rest in peace All right, this one's looking pretty good. Maybe some big boys coming next turn. I mean, I guess I could get horrendously unlucky. Can't even imagine what I would have to hit there. That's all lands, I guess. I guess it's possible. Anything is possible. I probably jinxed it, actually. Thank God. Thank God no jinx. Dude, Wayfinder is just too good. Turn turn one path, turn two rest in peace, turn three mentor. No good. And I mulliganed. To be fair, the matchup's probably better for Blue White if they're playing with open deck lists. Their game one, game one percentage goes way up. Maybe not way up, but bit up. I'm probably gonna play that mono blue deck. Some, uh, maybe just a thing in the ice. Their mulligan to five percentage goes way up. <laughs> Should I keep one in case they're all looting? Should I just discard, get rid of land? Get rid of claim? Claim's really good if I draw a supplier. I think I should keep one Vengevine actually. Gives me like outs to like some still kind of nutty draws. All right, little feeder boy. I have big plans for you. Hope you've been working out. Hope you're, hope, I mean, he looks pretty ripped, right? Looks like he could carry me to victory. Looks like his back muscles are, uh, I think it's his back muscles. Why do I have claim to fame? You haste, it's like value when you mill it because you can haste Hogak. And the claim part is actually pretty good. Um, you know, if you have like, sack a supplier, bring it back. The most common one seems to be supplier mail wayfinder and then on turn two you can claim a wayfinder and have some pretty explosive draws. I had that theory too that was too claim to fame. You could play Silver Bullets creature in the sideboard like Plague Engineer and Collector Roof. 
and then you mill a bunch of cards and maybe you mill, you mill your silver bullet and you can claim it back in play. But I don't know how, you know, relevant that is, I guess. I usually name Hogak. There's really nothing else. I mean, you can name Looting maybe in this spot. You can name Stitcher Supplier, I guess. Hogak's an easy one. Stitcher Supplier. I'm not sure I love naming Stitcher or Supplier there if I'm them. I think I'm gonna just make one huge carrying feeder. And hope they don't have Reflector Mage. I don't think my two ones are gonna be able to attack for anything. Show me a Reflector Mage you win. All right, and this rider. It's one of the reasons why I sag the grave color right away. It's like so unlikely to be able to attack next turn. Get that extra point of damage in. Wow. They're great. Hope it's just a freebooter. Open in Galaxy Brain. It's like kind of bad because if I had Stitcher Supplier, I would play it on turn one like almost 100%. But maybe it still makes it, maybe it's still like the best card they can name. Unclear. Unclear if they're uh, Galaxy Brain Openers or just Lucky Monsons. Oh, you can't claim an Engineer, it costs free. Why do I think you could claim an Engineer? That's how I beat it, always named that. Why do you always name King Art? You know it's it's bad to name Stitcher Supplier. Because if I have Wayfinder, I can still cast Hogak. Yeah, well, keep telling people that, please. Keep telling them to name uh, Stitcher Supplier when I haven't played a Stitcher Supplier on turn one. Ah, King Art's backpedaling now. He says in the old deck at least. <laughs> Alright, Dev. I mean, there's no way I'm just shocking myself, right? Should I just get Swamp? I'm not gonna win if I deal myself. I'm just gonna get a Swamp. And hope I draw looting. Didn't even think about it. It's not a good sign. I might need to have Reflector Mage. If your hand is Feeder plus Supplier, do you leave Supplier? Yeah, I think almost every scenario you leave you lead Supplier first. I don't know. I feel like you almost play Supplier first when you have Supplier in hand. Uh, I could be just misremembering, I guess. Ooh, I drew a Lightning Axe. <laughs> that should that should save me. That would have been pretty good. They have Thalia though. <laughs> Can I do anything here? Sorry, I'm just zoning out. The M20 guy that doesn't know creature to get countered. That's interesting. Is that the pro green dude? I've never heard anyone mention that card. Protection from green. Insect. Creatures are open can't have plus one plus one counters on them. So that's the kind of sick, actually. No one's... I mean, the hardened scale might be well positioned, but there's very few people playing that deck. Like... I think Force of Vigor is a bit too much. It's kind of nice against the Aether Vile decks. Crib Breaker is probably not great in this matchup. Probably a bit slow. Claim to fame. I never know what to board out. I think it's pretty pretty obvious at this point. She 
shenanigans bad. No, shenanigans is kind of the best sideboard card against them because they usually have Grab Digger's Cage and it also hits Vial. Have you ever liked Cabal Therapist? I don't think I've ever cast a card. It's just not a good card. Does that hand do anything? Not really. How many times have I mulliganed to five today? Just every other game. Let's see, I'm gonna play turn one supplier. If I draw land, I'm probably just gonna go crib breaker, grave crawler, draw a card, and then wayfinder. I see this is bad if I ever draw looting, but I'm not gonna count on that. Alright, Mild Hogak. That's something. <laughs> Cabal Therapist serve its role in the spoiler. Yeah, it was a card people were excited about. It's did a job well. Cabal Therapist, what a cool design. <laughs> Rip. Rip Cabal Therapist 2019-2019. Can't imagine I'm ever gonna win this game. I will try. Do I want to chump now? It's not a way to turn to chump. There's no rush. I want to play my land. I'm just going to play it. Might try the other bad guy after that. Hey Canister, have you have you played Eldrazi Tron at all? Can't get myself to try it. Who did who did their homework? Who can tell me if Eldrazi Tron's any good? I asked Oliver yesterday, but he was kind of cryptic. He like told me it's awful, and then he told me it's the nuts. Seems like maybe he think it's good, and then he told me it was bad, and then he felt guilty, and then he was like, "Uh, oh, actually, it's pretty good." And couldn't quite get the read on the crafty, uh, crafty Oliver. I tried Etron, it felt awful. Yeah, I know you think that. I heard you say that on your stream the other day. Did you know that Etron means spoop in French? Etron? Oh yeah, I guess it kind of kind of does. I think it's good in the meta, right? Chalice for one's pretty good right now. Brad Nelson said he trons pretty good in his podcast. All right, this is this is the turn where we chomp and uh, we hope we draw. A... Or mail shenanigans. Like, if it was just for the humans matchup, I think you would want two shenanigans in your sideboard. So let's see, I'm gonna make a zombie, take a beating. What if I draw shenanigans next turn? Do I wanna have a land in play or not? I should just play my lands, right? There's no reason not to. I should attack this grave crawler too, why not? Melon shenanigans isn't a great plan. No, it works. You can dredge uh, against Gravdigger's Cage. My experience with Etron is that if they chalice turn one to an open dice it, it's great. If they're full game played out, it sucks. 
I really like when I play blue white against it, I can lose like some longer games. Oh well. I guess I'm just playing thing in the ice at the PT. No one can beat that card. Maybe I should just play Is it Phoenix instead of my like garbage garbage mono blue decks or after trying to taking turns deck yesterday, I kind of just want to play Blue Moon, actually. Last time I played Blue Moon in a high-profile ev event, it didn't go well, though, so... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be result-oriented. Is Blue White bad now? Um, some people say it's good. Some people say it's bad. It's probably somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Seems pretty bad against Hogak. I see Andrew has the hot takes. The hottest takes there are. Alright, let's not make the mistake I make all the time. Let's get... Overgrown Tomb, number two. <laughs> Just guy. Oh, man. Open and said, it's Adam T. He said, probably should have mold given I knew what you were playing. Wow. Open and admitting that he should have been scum. Mulling, knowing what I'm playing, was that telling me what he's playing? Alright, they have Narset in play. I should not cast my Faithless Loadings. Unless I really need to discard. I didn't even see what the hit was, uh, Jace. Can I even get lucky here? I need to mail like Vengevine and Gravecrawler. Challenge accepted. Not even close. Not even close. When you're playing Jeskai in in uh, in modern, and you get paired against anything but humans, I wonder if I should just keep Lightning Axe in these matchups. Why is this soundboard not working? Should I have Lightning X my own Vengevine in response to the Helix? Yeah, probably, actually. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna hope they don't have turn to rest in peace. So what am I hoping to draw? Vengevine and Blood Gas, right? So might as well play Citrus of Flyer. Am I supposed to play Feeder first? You guys got me... Got me wondering. I mean, in worst case, you miss out on one point of damage. I guess you could miss out on more points of damage with Bloodgast. Alright. I'm going to have to beat them uh, fair and square here. Correct answer was should have led on Grave Crawler. Lead on, on Feeder is also a bit worse if it just have like Lightning Helix or Lightning Bolt, right? As I'll play it out. See see a few more cards. No lands, two venge mines. Okay, cool story, bro. 
I don't want to see more cards, it's fine. <clears throat> Remand's kind of gas right now. When they go all in on the turn to Hogak, your remands. I mean, Manalik also decent, but. I usually bring in Return to Nature on the draw. And on the play, I'm like, just screw it. I think a Lightning Axe might be good. Just don't want to have Lightning Axe in my opening hand, but Mentor's kind of scary. I think Thugs may be better than Claim to Fame. I'm just going to stick to my guns and just rely on Thought Seize and Explosive Draws. Not bad one, you know, kind of test the waters for surgical extraction. I think I should loot first in case I draw another blood ghast. Definitely don't care about Path, don't care about Helix, not gonna take Opt, just take Purge, I guess. I know I'm very bold, taking all that damage against a Burn player. What are they doing? Is that good? Are you gonna path something? Do I wanna path my blood gas? Hmm. Alright, what's the sequence in here? Probably lead with feeder. Feeder into looting. I guess I should sex the tri supplier. First or loot first? Does it make a difference? It gets screwed out of zombies. <clears throat> if I sack supplier to feeder <clears throat> and they path feeder in response, get a swamp. Yeah, this is kind of bad. I think I'm just gonna loot first. Okay. Neonate's pretty bad. And looting's pretty bad. Then just bring back. If I play supplier, I could just hit Hogak. I guess I just play supplier. Bug's pretty good, I think. Should I loot? Another good Gari Thug. I don't know if I'm playing, I don't know if looting there made any sense actually. I already have so much in play. I guess it set me up nicely for next turn. Not even if they have like Chase Minus or Sweeper, they're dead. Why did I not discard both thugs? Cause I wanna be able to cast them to bring back Vengevine maybe? Why would I keep Hogak in hand? I don't know. Do I want two in my graveyard? I don't think I need two in my graveyard. I think I'd rather keep a cheap creature to cast. 
All right, GG's Adam. My Kogak is free, but you still have to tap creatures. Which you don't always want to do. Is the BL good? Is Progrin good against Blog's Bench Find? Does it block anything? Some decks just scoop to Progrin. Rian. I have like a billion Rians. I think. I have some other kind of Rians. Guess not. I want to try my mono blue deck flashing for lightning bolt and some sideboard cards. I wonder if it's worth it. Probably makes me straight up worse against Hogak. Makes me much better against humans. I should try it once just to see. Who can say no to new deck five? My airplane is delayed and I'm in a bad mood. I'm sorry, Some Jess guys ones would really cheer me up. I'm sorry, buddy. I have a PT in like a week and I think I'm literally 0% with Jess guys ones at the PT. I don't want to spend like two hours playing the deck. I'm really sorry. I don't know what y'all need to say. I appreciate the donation, man, but... This is not the time to try and strong army into playing your pet deck. In before Swans is actually broken, just it's the only deck I've been testing with my teammates. Gotta keep it secret. I actually took lightning bolts. That's so weird. It's like not the card I ex expected them to take either opt or Maybe they have Renin 6? How am I strong arming? Isn't Bribery the weakest source of coercion? I don't know, dude, you ask me like 10 times a day if I want to play Blue Red Swans. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know, maybe, maybe it got lost in translation. Maybe it's not strong arming. Maybe I used the wrong term, you know? Alright, I guess if they had another Inquisition, taking Bull first and then Snap kind of makes sense. Oh, they're playing Mardu. Well, I guess so far Bolt has been good at, like, Aiden Inquisition. This is kind of a tricky spot. What are they going to play next turn? So if they play Liliana minus, I'd rather have Snap. I think I'd rather have Snap than Cryptic. I think that's the right phrase, Gap. Raph is trying to guilt you into playing Swan's emotional leverage. Uh -huh. Did I just say go? Serum Vision sets up my nice my next few turns nicely, but Snapcaster instant speed like plays better on this card and stuff. Like if you have something like a bull lightning. 
And it makes it more awkward for them to, makes it trickier for them to play. It's not that they go. Are you being serious, Raph? Am I being that big of a of a dick right now? I don't get it. You wasted all that time playing those garbage unplayable decks. What, which garbage unplayable? Like, dude, I think you're kind of out of line. I'm sorry you're having a bad day, but your best friend asked for a small favor. Raph, I have like, I don't know, man. Just... Oh, it's like I should have kept cryptic command. All right, I'm sorry, Raph. I'm not gonna play Swans today. I don't think so. I mean, I can't tell if he's being serious if he's trolling. I guess either way I should ignore. Played three leagues with Astral Slide. I played like two matches each league, and it's Bruce. Like, I don't get it. Like, you're really being serious right now, aren't you? Dude, just you're you're like being on real honest. This is getting like I don't know, kind of uncomfortable. You're just yelling at me. I don't know, maybe you're not actually yelling. Astral slide into his sister's DM. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, well, at least we're testing our, like, toughest matchup right away. These, um... Basically, an Inquisition of cause like decks are pretty tough. And this seemed to be no different. You love me? Alright, good. I love you too, buddy, but... Please let me play the decks I want to play right now. Yeah, I don't know how I come back from this. I need Jace, I guess I have Jace in my deck. That's a good card. That would be a good one. I don't even have my Saheeli main deck anymore. Pretty much. Plus, they're never gonna run out of gas with lootings and stuff. Season Pyromancer. Like, if they didn't have Season Pyromancer in their deck, I could see, like, being okay, but that's, like, so much value. If I ever think you're trolling, you are? Alright, thank God. Just like enjoy torturing me. I don't know which one's better, honestly. Alright, this is step one. It used to be better when I had four Archmage Charm in the deck, because you could really come back from these spots just chaining card advantage, but. I don't think it's happening this time. I guess they are down to one card in hand, and they don't have a very fast clock. But even if I do flip thing in the ice, they get seasoned Pyromancer back, and... I guess I have to counter any two at this point. This. These, these, these. And this is how you get hooked. This is textbook how you get hooked playing a bad deck at the PT. You're like, wow, that deck's just. That deck's just very, very decent. 
There's been a surgical looting, I guess. They probably drew another looting anyways. I have a feeling. What's going on? Why do I have to press OK again? I'm just terrified that it's gonna not let me resolve looting. Wow, they drew a nerf actually. That nerf doesn't do anything right. Yeah, this matchup's nightmare. Dreadbore, Fatal Push, Inquisition, Lingering Souls, Helixes, just Yogmoth, Surgical Main Decks, probably Gas 2 against me. <coughs> I actually probably should Psycho. Yeah. They needed Red Boar for Jace or Bull. Update deck? Yeah, I can do that. You mean update the awesomeness that is new deck 5? Don't really matter too much. I'm just gonna get serum visions. And the whole extra value. Wonder if Manly is good. Probably. No, oh, I could have done it again. Yeah. Yeah. Seems better to just say go. Oh, I, li I, had, I literally had lethal, yeah. All right, so maybe I should have gone for lethal. That's... Fair point, chat, fair point. I'm just BMing my opener. Welcome to the Yellow Hat stream, everyone, where we miss onboard lethal on the reg. Not chat lethal, actual lethal. It's the only stream where chat lethal is actually lethal. And not just chat lethal. It's, it's very unique that way. Any other stream when chat claims lethal, it's not lethal, but this stream. But Gab, you have shock in hand and he's at two. Oh, my bad, chat. Good thing my hand is as good as it is, because I actually have like a chance of losing this game, if not. Am I saying this chat is better than other chats? Exactly. Everyone knows that. Got the smartest, smartest viewer in all the land. Yeah, I drew like, I was like the burn deck. I stopped at seven lands and I drew all spells. It was gas. All right, power class seems good. Clicks bad, explosives is bad, ravenous trap probably bad. What do they have? Looting, seasoned pyromancer, lingering souls, tokens, tokens, tokens. I don't even think Thing in the Ice is supposed to be good against them. Force of Negation might actually be okay just because it exile. Not even to two for one myself in force, but just, uh, let's see. I mean, I basically win with Jace this matchup. It's like all about Jace, I guess. Click seems bad. I could trim thing in the eye. Can I cut all the thing in the eyes? Can I win without thing in the eyes? Hard. Yellow hat, yellow hat. Daddy, I got the sun. 
kind of a one for one. Forces them to have a removal. Gold Guild was Young Pyro. That's it. Yay! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Yay 11. Maybe I just board out bolts and just dig to Pyroclasm. Kind of like that. Kind of like that idea. I think I actually need Force of Negations. Maybe just Explosives for all the tokens. Maybe a Ravnus Trap is good. Lorta Gem. Thank you for the Twitch Rhyme sub. Welcome to. Can I buy a yellow hat, a yellow baseball cap, Gab? I don't know. Is there a team that uses yellow as their color? Can't think of one. They're like, yellow is off limits. It's way too good of a color. The other teams are going to be jealous. All right, well, hopefully they don't have Inquisition for turn one sermon. The pirates, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I sub to bad streams and French accents. Wow, I didn't know I had an accent. Thought my English was perfect. I'm offended. Young Pyro. Young P. Diddy. So yeah, I decided to not keep in Bolt. Just figured Bolt was a losing battle against their deck. I'm just gonna let them make some tokens and hope to draw a Pyro class at some point. Probably sh yeah, I probably should have an F6. I might want the four. You need the Exile from Anger? It depends. I mean, most graveyard decks, I mean, they have Carrion Feeder in the deck. And your plan is to flip thing in the ice anyways. Does Caffeine make you a better MTG player? Probably. Is this the first league? Was this deck? Was this exact version? Yes. I played like Mono Blue versions and I've played Taking Turns yesterday. This is like between Taking Turns and my Mono Blue, I guess. It's just like Mono Blue Slap. The opponent kept a 7 card hand without a discard spell. Yeah, if you have a good hand, you'll need a discard spell. You know, if you have like. Turn two Pyromancer, a looting, some removal. <laughs> Doesn't a block. If they have lightning bolts, it's fine. Bolt is good in this matchup, anyways, just because of, especially if I have Jace in hand. Alright, it's getting in. As far as we know, they only have spot removal for Thing in the Ice. My one problem is I don't really know what Yogmas does. And I don't know how to spell it either. Hopefully that's... Protection from humans. 2-4. Pay one life, sack another creature, put a minus one... Discard a card, pull with it. Right. So they can play it, sack their token, cycle their token. Alright, I'm just gonna... Is Blood Moon not good enough to put in the main? Um, it doesn't trigger a thing in the ice. It's not as good when people know it's coming because of open deck list at the you know, Pro Tour. And I just don't like Blood Moon, I guess. I, I force myself to put a couple in the side. It could be a good format for Blood Moon, honestly. It's pretty good against Hogak if people play that deck. 
You've been decent against Dredge, no more large from the loam. Now you could start wondering what you know what's what's in their hands. Just spot removal waiting for me to I mean that's not ideal but So a little card advantage. Surgical. Targeting thing in the ice. It's kind of Should I just surgical pyromancer now? See what they have, see which counter spell I'm supposed to use, or am I gonna use a logic not no matter what? I could surgical my own thing in the ice. But getting right up season pyromancer sounds extremely Looting's also really good that they're stuck on lands. I think I should maybe go for a looting. I can snap. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with looting and see what they have, I guess. Who knows if that's correct. I can always snap, snap surge. They have another season pyro. And a Chandra and a Kaya. Damn. Damn. Should've gotten pyro. I guess it makes the sense for them to hold a pyro death good. How did he sideboard, by the way? Kaya's guy? Oh man, I'm thinking the ice might just be bad against him, honestly. I used to have two uh, Sahili Planeswalker. I mean, this matchup's just so. Where Terror? Maybe it's for Layla. Alright. So I'm kind of screwed either way. Chandra, Kaya, Yeah, maybe, I guess I... I punted on my, uh... On my first surgical. Do I want to draw more thing in the ice? Def Chandra. Yeah, this is not great. So what is the correct play? It's tough. I guess get going after looting when they're stuck on free and they have all spells is actually... I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I was thinking of that season party that I've played before that, but that's not true because... If their hand is good, they don't want to just discard good cards to get a bunch of one ones necessarily. I mean, I'd probably just lose if they go, uh... They go season pyro, discard two spells, make two dudes. 